Hi guys, welcome back, Marius here, and today we have again Sexy Gabe on the screen, which means Steam Summer Sales 2019 is still on, and this is episode 4, well, we are um, getting more expensive games, so games on Summer Sale 2019 between 10 and 12 bucks. I am not taking any more five, um, five bucks difference, there's, there's no point of it. So. All the games in between there are 16 17 I, I lost the count sorry i'll just let's just go through them they are ranked in order how it was shown up and i think it's uh, by the rating so we will start with the worst kind of by the ratings only by the ratings and all the ratings are just just like that and uh all the, the links are down in the description so you can check not can but go and check the game yourself the genre the gameplay the what you like all, all the things and only then purchase i'm just giving out my own on my opinion uh, based uh, what i see as, as valuable games to check because there are hundreds and thousands of them so yeah okay let's not waste any more time i will try to make this video short as possible so you don't get bored so first game in our um game list we have Sid Meier's Civilization. I will run the default video that is there so you can take a glimpse what it is. So uh, this game is released on 2016. Arias, this is strategy, turn-based strategy, historic, historical 4x. I don't know what, what it counts for. A lot of tags can be added. So Sid Meier's Civilization is nothing new. This is 16 series. I previous uh, uh, games in the series are mentioned in other videos because they are way cheaper. I believe this is one of the latest, if not the latest, where a few new expansions ha has been released, as you can see. Um, blah, blah, blah. Separate packs and all that. And you can get, get even this deluxe version. It's It costs only 19, well, 20, 20 euros, 20 dollars, and the, the default version without any extension and whatnot, it's it's 15. So it's it's up to your your choosing. Both of them fall in the same in the same um, uh, price range. So yeah, Sid Meier's Civilization. Um, all reviews are only 69. So on that base, that's why it's kind of bad, worst game. Uh, but recent reviews and i believe this is because of the expansions and patches and all that so that stands to 90 freaking percent almost 3000 people rated it so yeah it can't be that bad if, if nine out of ten people recommend and say the game is great so here it is sid Meier's civilization six all right moving on next is fallout Four. This is Fallout 4, uh, with all the, all the controversy with uh, Fallout 76 and online and whatnot and being broken. But uh, this is just good old game that you can mod shit out of it. Uh, there's the latest patch updated in modded version, not official patch, but um, fixing all the issues and upgrading the graphics. Come on, this is true, truly a masterpiece. I know, I know, I know. I hear all your views screaming already that no, New Vegas was best of Fallout. I'm not saying this is the best Fallout game, but currently you can get it half of the price, 15 bucks, and that's yours. And you can experience still before Fallout 76 disaster. This is the game. I constantly install it back again, mod shit out of it and play it because come on it's fun it's fun the building uh, all the outposts where you can build and, and get more it's it's crazy what kind of all cool stuff you can do and then uh craft your armors and weapons and i just truly 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 love fallout this fallout particular because 76 hurt me a little bit so i'm not talking about that game but so yeah four games back released even less than because it was November 2015, rating 71, mostly positive, and lately at uh, 90%. More than 3,500 people rated the game. Yes, it is great. It is a great game. If you like open world, post-apocalyptic exploration, RPG, survival, crafting, skill system, uh, I don't know, everything you can imagine, it's pretty damn good game so if you don't have it in your game list yet go check it out if that's definitely what you like 
for half of the price, 15 bucks, it's yours. Moving on, next game is one of the games I have featured in my channel, that's Jurassic World Evolution. Truly, truly beautiful game. This is not something that you fight for uh, achievements and, and whatnot, Other, but achievements are great as well. But the dinos and, and dinos and, and um, grooming them and building up and, and getting your park, it's pretty amazing. And at that point, when you realize that you can, when dino, uh, your dinosaur is has escaped from the cage, you can, as in first person, jump in a... Uh, jeep or ride a helicopter and hunt the dino down then you'll realize like that game is great yes it is yes it is indeed so this is um building dinosaurs management simulation uh basically park management building yeah it's not a, not a simulation but kind of game uh, currently you can get the game for 30 13 and a half uh, euros dollars and the lux version also falls in this price range so it's 17 and a half uh, bucks uh, check out the game it's really beautiful it's quite new one year old game only and it's already with 70 this uh, percent discount so maybe if you haven't played it you can see the ratings they are obviously highlighting them cool game go check it out down in the description is link right to it next one Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I currently, right now, as we speak, have it installed in my, on the system. And on the save game is waiting when I'm done doing those videos for Steam sale. <laughs> I will run back to it. Phantom Doctrine is something special. Uh, I will right away um, show you positive rating. That's 73%. But lately, it went up to 85%. Why? Uh, because the game, the game is not that popular. You see the... There's no thousands of, of ratings. Uh, the game at the beginning has had really poor, not poor, but kind of silly shooting uh, mechanism. There's a, a turn-based fighting uh, combat um, missions, and there was always a problem where enemies just shoot you down, you hunt you like an animal. It's it was truly hard. It's not it's not easy. Uh, as, as now I play it as well, but it's a bit better. Now you can predict better uh, what, what the damage will be and you can actually survive those fights. Previously it was totally crazy, so I believe people, a lot of people just downvoted it. So this is turn-based turn tactics, strategy, Cold War, Stealth. Yes, it's an interesting game. If you see in the background, there's um, you collect evidence, um, put together uh, papers, tie names with... with with people with locations and 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 whatnot and the real agents agents can level up get new perks get new trainings uh, upgrade skills there's a uh, human um, implement implement implants that boost skills and and uh, then of course there's gear there you can upgrade gear you can spe specialize gear you can uh, throw use throwables pick locks stealth uh come up not camouflage but uh as, as agents, of course, you you just um, have it's called when you dress up as, as others, like civilians, but actually you're an agent. So there's a huge, huge potential. That's why I never left the game fully. There's there has been some updates and and fixed things. So now the game, I'm I'm back again, and this is really amazing game to look for. And currently 60% uh, discount, 16 euros or bucks always the same price goes or actually the deluxe version also falls in the price range 90 90 bucks uh what's include the looks update version obviously i have no clue what what's there halloween scare tactics no this is separate this is dlc i don't know what in the looks version you you can go in the description check the game yourself um check the gameplay all that and then um, yeah you can decide yeah you can craft this truly great a game really similar to XCOM you have a base you have your um, um, soldiers you develop get an intelligence attack enemy it is truly truly all right moving on because there are more awesome games uh, one of the games I also played just recently with with one of my friends because I pushed the game uh, highlighted uh, for everyone because recently it was uh, Ubisoft sale as well before Steam summer sale and 
actually the game was cheaper there but anyways not, not talking about that uh, ghost uh, ghost recon tom sclain's uh, wildlands 75 percent positive 91 percent lately for one oh one and a half thousand players played it so it is co-play it's a truly co-play game because you can te team up with up to four players friends or, or just just anyone on online and then take down cartel attack uh, it's it's open world shooter action co-play tactical exactly it's tactical it's like you are a silent silent ghost recon uh, ghost basically that attack night is the best because then enemies see porter you have night visions uh, all the skills gears weapons unlockables uh, you can drive, you can shoot, you can... Uh, come on, it's it's truly, truly great game. Especially co-play. Especially co-play. So currently you can have the game for 17 and a half euros. Yeah, as I see, gold year 2. I don't know what it, what's what's there, but it's, it's out of the price range. And ultimate year, even more, not going there. But the base game itself, it's pretty amazing. This huge map, there's... You, you look at the graphics it's exactly amazing uh, and also don't don't forget to check if your system actually runs the game that, that would be shame if you buy the game and actually your system is too 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 outdated and then it's yeah you're running on potato okay so but if you have capabilities the game currently is sale go check it out and we are moving on to the next game and it's surviving mars this is something interesting because these games are in parallel, but this is definitely not a AAA game. It's Paradox Interactive, uh, publisher, cool game. I like it. I like the city builder, strategy, survival, space, Mars. Basically, you are colonizing the Mars. It's it's in truly beautiful graphics. There is no so much uh, replayability, but um, la latest updates they had. Uh, what was the when, when you can make Mars green actually plant trees get water and whatnot that was pretty amazing and yeah why I mentioned it's not kind of triple-a game it's it feels a bit smaller um, it costs only a little bit more than 10 bucks it, it could go actually in the previous uh, price range the 10 bucks game right 66 percent the uh, discount um, you can see this is all actual footage all you, all you build, you develop, you bring more people, you uh, make livable Mars, you get energy, you craft fuel so you, your rockets can go back and, and, and back to Mar uh, Earth and, and, and to Mars. You need food so they don't starve, you need oxygen, water, all that you need basically to build sus sustainable uh, surviving Mars game. If you like the game, check down in the description, go see, maybe this is for you in this Steam summer, sir. Steam summer sale. Um, don't scream, don't scream. I know, I know. I previously already said in previous uh, video there's Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is, um, in my opinion, really awesome game. But, but there's always a but. I've played every Assassin's Creed game, and at the time when they were released, they basically were one of the best games. When the first one, then the second, the later ones come ca came out, and then, then it's Unity and the Elevation and Black Flag and Syndicate, and Syndicate has some other features that other uh, Assassin's Creed games had not. So this was about the Brotherhood uh, and and kind of different approach, and then you can change between two uh, different uh, protege. It's there's also something. So of course. I'm not comparing uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate to other Assassins. It's just a Assassin game. Look at the rating. It's still 74% overall and mostly 88%. And m me, myself, I I would not be able to sleep at night knowing that I have played all the Assassins but one. And maybe if you are missing out Syndicate at this point, 70% uh, discount sounds great. 12 bucks, 12 freaking bucks. And that's it game is yours uh gold version eh, a little bit over our price range but and the bundle itself even more expensive not going to uh, that way Ooh, black flag unity rogue and syndicate all of them 
I think that's a huge discount. But anyways, check for yourself if you are interested in Assassin's Creed, which is Assassin, Open World, Action, Stealth, Parkour. Well, I hope you are familiar with Assassin's uh, franchise. You just saw how it plays out, what's what's going on there. It's <coughs> I just I I'm playing all the I, I I don't like when people are like, yeah, new Assassin is not anymore Assassin. Like, don't like, don't play. That's easy as that. Of course, there's a change. Of course, there's new features. That would be stupid if they released exact same game exactly as it was and just, I don't know, new story. That would be too boring. And they are trying and pushing boundaries and checking what's working, what's not, what's stupid, what's not. And obviously, our feedback is uh, received. And then, anyways. Anyways, Syndicate is here. Steam Summer Sale is here. If you like the game, maybe you can grab one. All right. This game, unfortunately, don't have video, but doesn't require any Far Cry 4 uh, Far Cry 3 is considered one of the best storylines Far Cry 4 it falls a little bit behind Far Cry 5 is totally different and, and way how to say up to date uh, for your graphics and all that but it's still enjoyable you still go fight uh, evil villain uh, where's the name Pagan Min yeah rating is 78 overall uh, lately, it's 87%. So 87% of all the users, and you, you see, 20,000 people rated the game, and it's still uh, four out of five say the game is great. So eh, maybe it is. Go check uh, some gameplay if you don't believe what you see in those few pictures. I don't know why there are just <clears throat> five pictures representing the game, but it's open world action. FPS, first-person shooter, adventure shooter, uh, with talent trees, with weapon unlockables, with world to to explore and, and animals to hunt and gear to craft. It's it's all there. Currently, at twelve bucks, twelve euros. It's 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 that, and gold version even in in eighteen. Both of them put uh, is in this price range. So yeah. Maybe if you haven't played, if you, I don't know, something, you missed out the game, maybe it's time to grab one. All right, moving on, we have, oh boy, oh boy, I don't need, I don't know if I even need to mention it, but currently on sales there is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. I will run the game just because it's pretty awesome. They are showing original and then remastered version. And this is the remastered version. This is the new Special Edition. As you can see, uh, new, you can read of course you can read new water shaders new effects new restyling new everything this is the same same skyrim just in, in already without any mods already pre-edited special edition so very positive 84 ratings 16,000 people lately 95 percent obviously skyrim is one of the game of the games everyone knows that and everyone knows that you will be playing uh silent stealthy archer everyone plays that okay so <laughs> this is time this is the time when bethesda uh still released pretty long lasting and amazing games of course there there was a there is a bugs and updates and mods and you can do whatever you want in there it's live action trailer nice nice anyways the game currently is just one cent below 20 uh 20 euros 20 bucks a special edition still half of the price maybe if you haven't played it maybe if skyrim is still in your uh, i don't know favorites must have i will play someday maybe this is the time go check it out down in the description skyrim link to steam summer sale moving on oh boy okay now these are pretty expensive bay games these are not below five bucks there are some recent and these are one of my favorite for example shadow of war is uh middle earth shadow Sh what was the first name i'm this is second in line shadow of mordor is the first one and actually it's why i missed in the previous video it costs under 10 bucks what the hell jesus christ so first game 
first game is Shadow of Mordor. Obviously, it's a bit outdated. It's five years uh, back released. Absolutely amazing. If you love Assassin's Creed game, it, it basically plays out as Assassin game. It's you climb, you assassinate, you. Whenever you are not assassinating, you are just slashing everyone with the swords, with uh, bulbs. You have skills. You have unlockable, upgradable weapons. You have special sets. You. You have silent approach. You guys, the game is just insane. And and let me just read out the tags: open world, action, fantasy, adventure, RPG. This is way more than that. This is way more. There's spe specific system where enemies has ranks, and they, if you fight them, you can you can uh, turn them in, uh, and, and make them work for you, and then they. Um, may betray you and if they kill you in the game then that enemy ranks up there's really cool system in there and this is the i will include in this video i don't care i, I missed out in the previous one so this is nine bucks uh, basically ten bucks ten bucks game and shadow of shadow of war is next version it's updated version whereas even further the game is increased there's a siege where you attack castles and take over exact same awesome thing you just saw exact uh execution jump jump kills uh slow mos uh, it's just truly amazing game truly amazing game this is one of the games i'm constantly reinstalling and playing once again and killing orcs it's just satisfaction of fighting against and and making a change in this game you make the change, you take over the places and they become, they basically are uh, friendly and, and in your castles. You, there's a difference what you are doing that makes, the differs. Absolutely amazing. You see the rating 78%, um, mostly 94% lately. It's just absolutely amazing game. Uh, Warner Brothers game is the publisher of Monolith Productions, both of them. If you haven't played, this game is also a little bit before. Oh, uh, there's actually demo, a demo available. If you can play the demo, just remember uh, Steam Summer Sales is five days on, and then you will lose this half of the discount. Okay? So I definitely can and will and always suggest if you are in open world action, just this play style is truly, truly great. Great game. Go grab one. All right, moving on. Uh, in previous video, I had this honor, uh, this honor the first um, game, which is great, amazing, of course. And this is the second one. This second one is um, three years back release, so it's it can't go below uh, five bucks yet. So it's in in, in twenty bucks um, range. Uh, so stealth first person. Person action assassin magic. This is a, a bit different game. The play style, uh, some some crazy um, uh, magic stuff happening, and and gearing up and, and skills and whatnot. So, if you are not familiar, I think Dishonored was game of the year. It was one of the best. You see the rating, 81% and 95%. It's it has unique graphic style, I'd say. That was not my favorite, but that doesn't mean the game is, is yeah. Just go check yourself. I will try to capture if Steam will load uh, how the game looks, uh, what are the graphics there. And uh, yeah, Dishonored 2. This is the game currently. Well, 20 bucks and it can be yours, right? Uh, okay, so many videos, nothing much you can see, but uh, yeah, find uh, find a game, check the YouTube for gameplay, uh, check if the game suits your playstyle and, and your game game's preferences in general, maybe go grab one, alright? Moving on, again, uh, XCOM was mentioned in my previous videos, for the cheaper uh, pro, um, games, uh, it was XCOM... Apocalypse and XCOM first one. Uh, these are way cheaper because they are older games, but this one, uh, three games back, released XCOM 2. One of my favorite games of all time because strategy, turn-based, tactical, aliens, sci-fi, uh, 
base building well, where the base is actually your ship uh, equipment uh, your soldiers you can upgrade them they level up they get new skills there's um, professions uh, res researchers manufacturing you need to manufacture your own weapons that you later on research and uh, you need to discover enemy weak uh, weak spots and then it's just truly you see that the game the game receives a lot of um love from all over the world uh, rating 81 percent and 95 uh over overwhelmingly positive 1500 people rate the game 9.3 out of 10 that's the rating currently you can get the game it's not even 20 bucks it's 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 12 and a half right the discount is quite huge and digital deluxe edition 16 and point 24 euros box and xcom game can be yours right so this is absolutely amazing game go check it out if you haven't purchased it, if you haven't played it yet, maybe you can. You have only XCOM first version, then second one will be yours. <clears throat> What's wrong with the internet? Internet is failing me, right? So okay, I'm moving on. The game is absolutely amazing. Stop it, Steam, and go check it out. Maybe it can be yours. Two Point Hospital. This is the game. Uh, awesome game. I also covered in my um, YouTube channel. If you haven't seen, yeah. Maybe Maybe you can look up. Uh, hospital. Long, long, long time ago, there was a game called Theme Hospital. And this is kind of remake, new edition. Well, this is kind of new game, but a lot of the ideas and, and, and how it operates and all that is based on that one. And, and that's one of my uh, games I played in my youth. Uh, so it's simulation. The videos are just crappy. Uh, they get stuck. Simulation, management, building, single player, hospital, <sighs> researching cure, getting new facilities, managing your um, personnel and all that, and progressing through the storyline. The storyline is not as strong, obviously, but anyways, it's pretty, pretty amazing game. Uh, I liked it. You see positive rating, 88% overall. And lately, 97% to 2.3 thousand people have rated 97%. It's I, I I'm not making it up. It's from 100 people, only three people were eh. I don't like it. 97 was like awesome, and it is awesome. All right, <laughs> you can get the game for 70 and a half um, euros or dollars. Uh, there was two updates, uh, Bigfoot and. Pepperly Island upgrade, uh, so just, I don't know, don't rush with the upgrades, get the base game, uh, currently half of the price, and Two Point Hospital might be yours, released August last year, so the game is not even a year old, alright? Moving on, next game, okay, this is again, awesome game, um, City Builder, I hope the video will start, I, I start to hate it, City Builder, Survival, strategy building dark yes it is dark it is really dark uh, the game basically everything is frozen you you are f fighting your your society is fighting for survival everything is bad everyone is cold everyone is hunger coal is running out people are dying you don't <laughs> truly truly whenever you play the game you you are under f fully under stress basically all the time no matter how good they are doing there's uh, frost coming or something there's always something going on uh, so the game gets you always you, basically you all the time you never get bored of it because whenever it drags you in well you are fighting until basically you win that that's there's no other way 87 percent um positive rating 24,000 people have rated it Look at the numbers, 93% lately, 2000 ratings, all right? Game can be yours for 15 bucks, 15 euros, half of the price. Uh, yeah, maybe if such style, you can see in the background, uh, there's a research tree kind of 
not research, but basically the rules, what happens when, I don't know, someone uh, gets crippled or something, you have to make choices and there's no good choices. There's basically, <laughs> you're picking best out of the worst. That's, that's how I can put it. And it's really amazing game. Uh, go check it out, how it, how it looks like. Down in the description will be link directly. Uh, if you have seen me or some other uh, streamer playing it and you already seen how awesome it is, maybe it's time for you to grab it. Five days left in Steam Summer Sale. All right, so don't, 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 don't sleep on this. Okay, this is, let me see one, was this one? Yes, this, this was. Don't 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 get alarmed. Uh, this is Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, the Phantom Pain, last game where uh, Kojima was was there and actually uh, was part of the developing the game. That's why the game is great. Uh, there's latest version is survival, total crap. Don't even think about buying it. Okay, so this is game uh, rating is 88%. 28,000 people have played and rated it, myself including. Again, not a year goes by when I install it and go back and fight back. And, and this is truly amazing game. And lately, 98, you see the ratings. The ratings is just absolutely amazing. This game crashes it. It's, you build a base, you uh, upgrade the base, you get your um, uh, forward base, base operation. FOB operation base, uh, and then you get resources. Then you send your um, your soldiers to the side missions. Then you have your company on. Then you gear up there. Then you it's just so much in this one game. Basically, it's kind of shooter. Okay, it's stealth, open world, story rich. The story is just crazy. Action and dark. It's not that dark. Okay, compared to from the frost frost bank it's it's not that dark okay it's but it's truly amazing game if you haven't played actually i purchased this game and also uh, gifted to one of my friends because that's how great this game is there are there are people that if there are people that you care about you need to make sure they play this game okay that's how good it is look at this you might be wondering why the hell maris are you showing us game that costs what? 30 dollars? 30 euros? This is supposed to be between 10 and 12, 20, right? Right. Because if you go down, this is it. The, basically, this is the, uh, the definitive experience. This is the. I will link to this already right away. Definitive experience. Let me show you what you will have. Shit ton of useless um, packs. Don't think about them. That's just crappy shit. DLC, actual Phantom Pain that costs 13, uh, 30 bucks. Ground Zero addition, um, small addition, a few missions, not worth uh, the, the money. Then again, some DLC packs and all that. It's basically all the game with everything included. Look at this. Look at this. Altogether, it costs almost 70 euros. And just now, the game with all the DLCs cost 12, 12 bucks. I'm looking at the number and I'm a bit pissed off because I think in the previous, um, not previous, but some long time ago, uh, summer sale, I purchased also the, the Phantom Pain, but I don't have all the updates and I paid way more than that. <laughs> I'm quite confident I paid fucking way more than that. <laughs> but now for 12 bucks, you can get one of the greatest games ever created uh, that, that suits the genre. What was the genre? Uh, that's why I needed this screen. Stealth, open world, story rich action, uh, dark. You can play in third person, you can play in no, it's, it's always in third person. Yes, it's in third person. 12 freaking bucks. Come on. This game this game is way more. It, it's worth way more than that. So if you don't have it yet, if you haven't played it yet, Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, it's, it's Phantom Pain. It's the latest, greatest of the series. There's a huge series. Some of the games in, in Metal Gear Solid is, if I remember correctly, for 
PS4 exclusive, so you can't play all of them in PC, but I might be wrong, maybe that now they are all ported. But this is the latest and this is the greatest, okay? And please, 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 if you ever thought about playing the game, this is the time. I don't think it goes anywhere below with all the stupid DLCs and whatnot, but then you have everything about the game, okay? And last in the game, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My, I see my video is already past half an hour. Fuck that. All right, all right. We are speaking about Dying Light. And don't get me wrong, I just said Phantom Pain is one of the greatest games, and it is, but this fucking game includes also zombies. It's... <laughs> If someone, if someone cursed me and I would be allowed to play only one game and one game only for the rest of my life, I would need to choose between Dying Light, Metal Gear Solid, Phantom Pain, and probably uh, Shadow of uh, War, um, Battle of Middle Earth. Those three games, those three games year goes by i install it back and play it fucking again and dying light is absolutely top notch game look at the rating 92 overall over freaking all look at how many users have rated it 60 basically 70 thousand people and lately 96 percent 8 thousand 8 thousand people still play the game it's core play you can play co fucking play this run together through the night killing zombies it's 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 just crazily this game is the best of the best games okay and there's a second uh, dying light 2 is coming out either later this year or next year i i have not sure but uh, it's it's already out there in, in e3 it was uh, highlighted that that game will be absolutely amazing again so this is uh, what we have zombies survival open world parkour call play crafting skills uh yeah call play is mentioned absolutely insanely story rich game awesome characters uh, yeah you can't try the um cars or anything like that but the skills the night mode it's just night it's just... <sighs> this game is one of the best games ever crafted thank you the developers techland and publishers techland publishing you are absolutely amazing guys you are this game uh, stupid me i i forgot mentioning witcher witcher 3 uh wild hunt that that's that's another game i would consider if i would be cursed to play only one game okay okay this game basically stands right next to witcher 3 if not even topping it i don't know i don't know i i, I will not these are my favorite games and currently the game can be yours for almost 10 bucks it's just freaking 10 bucks if you ask me if you need to get this uh, enchanted edition, let me see. Uh, crash test skin, that's shit. Ultimate survival bundle, that's shit. Season pass, yes. And following, yes. Dying Light, the following, is extension where new map, new story, new buggies, new skills are introduced. So the following is definitely something you want to have. All right. The rest of these, these additions are shit. Okay, they're nice, nice to have, but I would never suggest anyone uh, s spending money for some uh, visual upgrades, all right? That, that's your personal choice. That's nothing no one can suggest. You know, that skin is awesome. You, you need to get this uh, crash test skin. No, no, that's totally wrong. But in this uh, um, version, enhanced edition is following, and following inclu includes driving a buggy, all right? Let me see if I can fire up because it's it's important it is really important i will link also uh the game here why because this enhanced edition is also in the same price range it's 15 bucks it's 15 bucks and dying light is one and this is the following 
this is the following whatever you definitely must have it let's see what's that yeah it, it's just addition it's it's still if you have the main game you can purchase separately why purchase separately if you can buy together and i hope they can show you uh what's the difference please 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 untold chapter yes zombies yes bases yes skills yes that's your buggy that's your buggy you can ride it you can upgrade it you need to upgrade it you can run with your buddies basically oh boy it's up to four buggies you can have you see you can drive your buggy everyone has their own buggy and your friend your co-play player can run another buggy and then it's it's just crazy it's absolutely crazy game it's oh boy i, I can't ex explain how how important it is that you guys have experienced it right the mixed review that don't look at this this is just people probably haven't played the main game because if you purchase just following and try to start following no it, it's not supposed to be like that it means to be go through the main game then you hit uh, your level cap basic not cap but uh, you get all the upgrades and you know what you're doing and then you jump into following if you jump into following right away the first level you will be totally killed and i guess these are the people who just don't know the sequence and the storyline and they are pretty fucked up and they came back and write, wrote some angry um, feedback <laughs> but it's overly uh, very positive still 89 80 3%. Um, I will link this whole package. Dying Light Enhanced Edition. 15 bucks and it's yours. 15 bucks, 15 euros. Guys, this game is absolutely amazing. Action RPG, one of the best games ever created. Okay. All right. And that's con that concludes my video. Uh, sorry, it took 41 minutes uh, to go uh, explain all the games, but these are actually, I just, I needed to put out the the good word for the games that actually deserve this okay so one more video there is a pending uh games over t uh, 20 bucks there are just few games i want to mention so this is this is it uh five days for steam summer sales 2019 don't forget to purchase the game um that you find absolutely amazing and you want to play because this is summer sales and sales in general are the best way how you can support developer and still get the game and everyone benefits and you are not overspending okay that's important uh no one likes to overspend so this is the time for you to grab the game thanks for watching this was morris and we will meet then in next videos for sure cheers guys